on the occasion of the third anniversary of the International Day of Conscience, I would like to wish you all a happy Conscience Day. The 5th April every year was the day proclaimed by the United Nations more than three years ago to be the day the United Nations and the international community reflect on the fundamental value of conscience to human health, peace, and prosperity. As defined by the Oxford Dictionary, conscience is an inner feeling or voice believed to be acting as a guide to the rightness or wrongness of one's behavior. Why April the 5th? Well, it was on 5th of April, 2018, when Faux Pal, together with the permanent mission of Kiribati to the United Nations and the Association of World Citizens jointly organized the Peace and Love Conference in the United Nations headquarters in which representatives from 22 permanent missions to the United Nations shared their views and agreed that more cooperation was needed at all levels in the pursuit of a more peaceful and loving world for all. One of the core reasons for establishing the United Nations 76 years ago. I would therefore like on this occasion to congratulate and thank the president of FOPAL, Dr. Hong Ta Che, and all the members of FOPAL for their many years of hard work and for their unwavering commitment in the promotion of world peace and love through conscience. Today's celebration is a good reminder that firstly, the world cannot be peaceful if the people living in it are not peaceful. And secondly, that people cannot have, cannot have peace if they, do not, if they do not have peace in their hearts and minds. And thirdly, the hearts and minds of humans cannot have peace if they are not guided by the inner voice in the body called conscience. On this occasion, we are called to promote the crucial and powerful role that the human conscience can play in the cultivation of the human virtues and other positive attributes and behaviors that cultivate peace within each person, which extends out to a family, then to a village, a town, a city, a nation, and the entire world. Today, we are challenged to find time in the midst of the hustle and bustle of modern life to listen to and take heed of the dictates of our conscience so that each one of us may contribute to the building of a world full of love, peace, and harmony and the many other enriching social values in which humanity is fully liberated from the scourges of war, conflict, terrorism, human trafficking, exploitation, corruption, hunger, poverty, and other human-made sufferings and hardships caused by the few who fail or refuse to follow the gentle, loving, and peaceful guidance of their conscience. Let us recommit ourselves to fight and defeat all human tendencies that destroy human peace, harmony, and happiness. We will do so by strengthening and using our conscience, the most powerful GPS-like instrument that was aptly ingrained into our human DNA from the very beginning of time. I wish you all the best on this third anniversary of the International Day of Conscience. Thank you.